Miltonius. And I'm Punk Rock and Hobbit. Welcome back to the third episode of Red Eye Retro. We're really excited to have you little fellers. <laughs> now last week, if you remember, isn't here, old Hobbit. She done went and showed me up real good because I couldn't beat my game, but she could beat hers. That's mm -hmm. right. So, what I have come up with, I have come up with a special plan for episode three. And I'm going to lay it out for you. This week, we're going to play a two-player game. And we're going to play together. And we're going to see just who is the superior gamer. But, that's only half the fun. This week, We've got something special for you little fellers. I want to give a very special shout out to our very first subscriber and very first viewer, the good Dr. Earl Brewster. Yes. This feller here, I've known him many a year. Reckon he's been a blues brother. Reckon he's a ghostbuster. Reckon he might have been a power ranger at one point. And a lost boy. Mm -hmm. Definitely a lost boy. Yes. And um, at one time, he was an officer of the law. Reckon he had a bit of an accident. They made him into a robot there for a little while. Then after he was done doing that, they sent him to the nervous hospital, and he grew up to be Dustin Hoffman. Wait, what? That didn't happen. That was last week. Yeah. All that other stuff I said about him is true. And over the course of this episode, we're going to give you several shout-outs about this here feller, and we're going to tell you. And in honor of the great Dr. Earl Brewster, this week we are going to play a classic from the Sega Genesis called Toe Jam and Earl. Mm -hmm. Here we go, fellers. All right, then. See, Toe Jam and Earl, just like I told you. That's very pretty. It is. All right, then, I'll bet you're player one. Okay. In honor of the great Dr. Earl Brewster, I'm going to be Earl. Okay. Do you part. Greetings. My name is Toe Jam. And this here is my bro, Big Rappin' Earl. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Earl and myself are highly funky aliens from outer space. Outer space. <laughs> More specifically, we are from the planet Funkotron. Funkotron. <laughs> Thank you, Earl. You're welcome, Hobbit. So check this out. All right. This is our highly funky, ultra cool, righteous rat master rocket ship. That sounds like something you'd fly around the cosmos in. Now notice the megawatt speakers, mm -hmm. with which Earl and I mm -hmm. have been known to crank out some extremely funky tunes. You see here? Crank it, Earl. Hi, right, Jen. That's fitting, and I'm going to tell you why. Back when he was a young man, Dr. Earl Brewster, before he was a doctor, Reckon I said he is a blues brother, this feller. He's got him an Ecto now. But back in the day, he had him a police cruiser that he tricked out. And him and this feller by the name of Marcus. Reckon they got all dressed up in their fancy duds. And they went riding around. They picked me up. Back in, they used to call me Mighty Cap. We used to ride around and sing songs and shit. One time we even met Blues Traveler and they sang it to us. Wait, yeah. you met Blues Traveler? Get her. Well, we was tight. We was like this right here. <laughs> oh, look at this. See, now uh -oh. this is how Earl drives his, his uh, police cruiser. He would drive through the mall and everything. Literally, <laughs> like through the mall. You've seen that movie. I've seen you? that movie, I yeah. Can. Well, that's just like Earl's real life. He did that once. Reckon I didn't get to be with him for that one, but him and Marcus told me all about it. It's probably a good thing you weren't with him. Might have been. <laughs> Might have got hurt. Poor little feller. Reckon that didn't happen to Earl. But I reckon we're glad crash landing. Me and you. I'll bet. Here we go. That's Earth. Very funky. Mm -hmm. I reckon that's a spoiler if y'all didn't know it. See, I'd totally be down to let Earl drive. But again, we're talking about this Elgin named Earl, not Earl. Dr. Earl. Right. Yep. Wrong girl. Alright, we're in the most insane planet in the galaxy, I reckon. Yeah. Planet Earth. Thanks to Earl. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Had to get All we have to do now? What's that? Let's find the ten pieces of our rocket ship. Sounds easy enough. And we can jet out of here. Mm -hmm. Back to Outreach Space. No problem. Mm -hmm. No problem. <laughs> yep. All right, then. Ready All to right. do this? I'm ready. All right, let's ready. do this. Oh, Jesus. 
That's embarrassing. Uh oh. Oh, what? How'd that happen? Oh, well, damn, I reckon I'm toe jam. Alright. I mean, we can just switch controllers if you want to. Hey, that's an idea. Look at this. Hobbit is, Hobbit is on top of everything. Oh, God, I'm wrapped up in my controller. controllers. Alright then, that was a little bit of a complication. Okay. We're gonna have to use the graphic hobbit. We are, yeah. Oh yay, the graphic. You know what the graphic okay. comes with? Oh, yeah. The music. That's right, the music's the best part. Where are you going? Hobbit? I'm going up. You want this present box? Bring you have it. I'm going for a deal. <laughs> Cracking out chill here. This here is our Bill and Ted elevator, what we get to do our levels with. Pretty good. I wonder if Dr. Earl Brewster's ever invented something like that. I don't know. We need to ask him. Oops. Oh, get a belt, Earl. Mm. Reckon that poor fellow's bridges like to fall down. So anyway, I was telling you about old Dr. Earl Brewster. Yeah. I'll tell you another good one on him. All right. This one time, me and the good doctor, we was riding around in a hecto. We went to this one hotel called the Sedgwick. There was this feller in there, four little green fellers. Looked like little boogers. Ate up about everything in sight. So me and the good doctor, we had to take care of business on him. Uh-huh. TCB. Yeah. TCB, huh? Taking care of business. Yep. Who you gonna call? Dr. Earl. That's right. The good doctor. So, okay, you went and you saw some green dude. Get her. Well, what happened next? Well, I reckon we busted him. <laughs> Oh, yeah. wait, so he was a ghost? Yes, sir. He was a little green bugger feller. Looked like a ghost. Looked like a bugger, too. But anyway, we busted him because, you know, that's what ghostbusters and doctors and shits do. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I'm having no luck finding a door. What about you? I ain't reckon I found nothing. I've been too busy talking about my good buddy Earl. Nothing wrong with that. No, sir. I found the door, feller. Oh, Lord, where are you? Um, Summers. I'm oh, way down here. Well, anyway, I will just kick back and wait on you to arrive. I'll get there. Mm -hmm. While we wait, I'll tell you another one on our own. Okay. Before he was a doctor, like I was telling you, he was a law enforcement officer for a while. I reckon he got in a pretty bad shape. I reckon he got pretty tore up and sitch. Then these fellers came and they built him faster and stronger and sitch. And um, they made him a robot. Right? So, was he still a police officer? Yeah, for most of the time. Every now and again, he would take a little hiatus and go, like, help out Sting on WCW. But other than that, he, um, you know, he just robocopped it up. So. Gotcha. And after he was done doing that, they made him well. He didn't need to be a robot no more. Well, that's good. So then he got him, he got his doctorate, and he became a Ghostbuster. I reckon that was where I met him. So... He's a legitimate doctor. Yes, he has PhDs in psychology and parapsychology. Mm -hmm. That's right. Gotcha. Here. What? What? Oh, I'm going that way. Hobbit. oh no. Another. I believe every word you say. York too. <laughs> Bellert was in the nervous hospital as long as I was. Where am I? Get a clue. I've been trying to <laughs> this whole time. What I've been talking to you about. What was I saying? I don't remember now. I got sidetracked. PhDs. Oh yeah. Dr. Brewster, parapsychology and psychology. Yes. Get her. Good doctor. Reckon when I got hired on, I told him 
I really don't know about none of this stuff you fellas are talking about, but if there's a steady paycheck in it, I reckon I'll help you bust them ghost fellas. Which way you going on, bitch? Which way? Hi, Jen. I reckon me and the good doctor will head down here. Okay. I wish I had that echo of his. Get down this road a lot quicker. Got the door up here. Mm -hmm. We gotta find the ecto piece or we ain't getting out of here. These little skate teams is gonna catch me. One thing about it, I'm glad that this week we finally picked a different theme. We got some Elgin's this week. Last time was Dracules. Time before that was Dracules. Mm -hmm. Well, last week wasn't technically Dracules. It was the Lost Boys, wasn't it? Not the same. Not, not Dr. Earl Lost Boys. Oh. Mm. You reckon I were to explain that? Like, how can a fella be a, a roguey cop and a lost boy? Yeah. And that other stuff, what I said? <laughs> I reckon it's completely possible. Because see, what happened was, one time, me and old Dr. Earl, and them other fellas that we was running around with, mm -hmm. we got us a case. Go bust some vampires, right? There's only one problem. We couldn't find none of them Belmont fellers to loan us a Catholic-approved and blessed Indiana Jones whip. So you went without one? Yeah, we had to. Are you crazy? It was good money. Anywho, the team, we didn't come out of that unscathed. Reckon one of them poor little vampire fellers got a hold of Dr. Brewster. Next thing you know, he was the original lost boy. I reckon he moved out there to Santa Clara or whatever the hell the name of that town was in there. I reckon he made the rest of them fellers. He then met up with old Donald Sutherland and made him a vampire and other thing. Keeper Sutherland? That's what I said, Donald Sutherland. There's... I know what I'm talking about here, I'll be. Okay, I'm sure. Yeah, here. <laughs> Pretty interesting tale. Indeed. The, the life of Dr. Burstyn. Lots of stuff goes on with him. Oh. Mm. I'm dancing too, color. Hubba hubba. Reckon Earl Brewster, Earl Elgin Brewster, <laughs> Doctor likes likes the ladies in the hooli skirt. We these pancakes, and they did. They made me well. They did make you well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, there's nothing up here. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty, it's pretty groovy game. It's, no, it's funky. Funky. I got some socks that's funky. Well, that's because you haven't changed them in a week. I ain't changed these ones here since I was at the nervous hospital. Oh. Ooh. That's okay. They said I was well. Well, yeah, but just because you're well, I mean, you still have to change your socks. You do? Yeah. How okay. come? To get rid of that smell. Um. Just because you well don't mean you don't smell, okay? <laughs> you don't even know what you're talking about there, I'll be. Was there a ship piece here? I don't even know what's going on. No. No. We done found the door, I bet it's way over here. Well, let's go to it. I what are we doing? I thought I was you. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. They sure got big hamstrings here. Yeah, away from that one. Me too. Not by much. What up, little fella? Oh, oh god. Get on in here. <laughs> we'll take another ride on the Orient Express. Yeah. Orient Express. That's a train. <laughs> yes. This planet's insane, fella. Yeah, insane. Mm -hmm. They're not wrong. They're not. Have you seen the crap that goes on on Earth, fellas? No wonder the good Elgins don't come here. They just send the lizard people to infiltrate them. <laughs> we back on the lizard people? Well, I reckon we might be. You can't forget about the ancient Elgins. Oh, God. You reckon that's why Earth looks so crazy on this game? Because Totem and Earl are actually the ancient Elgins. What came and built pyramids and shit. It turns out the only reason why they did it is because they were trying to find the pieces to their ship. <laughs> oh, I feel like, uh, hey, you leveled up. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. I'm a doofus. I feel like if Toad Jam and Earl had built the pyramids, the pyramids would be a little more funky. Might have been. Well, the pyramids are already pretty funky. Yeah, that's not where I'm running. 
I'm gonna sneak over here and get this and sneak away. I found the door. Ain't no ship piece. No. I don't. I'll be over in a little bit. I'm gonna stay in here and stay away from that crazy doctor. I don't like shots. Pop it. Yes. You've got to get rid of him before I get over here. Why? I'm pretty sure that was my doctor from the nervous hospital. Oh, God. Yep. He sees me, he's liable to take me back. Say, I ain't well. That's not something you want to wish on a fella. <laughs> How far I got to go, he's still over here. Follow the road. Sneak over here so he can't see us. Poor little fella won't know what hit him. I reckon I'm being stealthy. You are. Yeah, we'll go a little faster. I don't believe he's over here. Ah! Money! Alright! Money! That little fella done went away. He's gonna commit somebody else. Well, that's good. That is good. Oh, hey, he didn't come back. He didn't see me though. I reckon I'm safe. Yes. Away we go. Just there. don't fall back down to this one. Hey, look, a million dozen tiny little boners. And here I thought we was gonna get past that this week. Yep. No. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow I feel like we're never gonna get past it. Hey, hey. there's a shit piece here. There he is. Well, um. Which way are you going? I'm going to go up. I do. Anyway, reckon even though old Dr. Brewster became a lost boy at one time, like I was telling you about, uh -huh. that wasn't a permanent thing. Reckon he done found a way, some kind of mysticism or something. He might have killed the head vampire, I don't know. But anywho, reckon he got turned back normal. Reckon he found bunch of kindness in his heart and different such like that. Yeah. I reckon he read to me out of this book on Christmas. Oh. And come to find out, a world Brewster is the father of Christmas in the country of America. I don't mean he started it. I don't mean he's that kind of father. <laughs> what I mean is, this feller here, poor little feller, he is so in touch and in tune with the Christmas spirit that he can infect anyone with it, bring love and joy into their hearts, and make them want to dance their cares away. I see. Mm -hmm. So he's like a Christmas fraggle? Yeah, that's exactly what he is. He's a Christmas fraggle. I reckon we need to get him a bunch of little Christmas doozers so he can have his elves. Poor little fellers. Oh, Jesus, here comes that feller what's going to take our presents. Ah! He got you. Yeah. Hey, look, you didn't found something. Found a road. I'm going to look at this here map because I'm kind of weirded out. All right, which way are you going, Hobbit? I go up. All right, I'm good. Hey, there's a road. Good. Maybe now we'll find something. There's a skating over here. He's sleeping. Got the door. All right, Dan, I'll see if I can find this ship piece. Looks like we're branching out in different areas. I'm going to head this way. See what I can't find us. Um, yeah. I'm glad we ain't seen no boogeyman yet. That's probably my least favorite enemy on this game. Yeah, they're scary. Yeah. Hey, look, I found the door, too. <laughs> I reckon you went that way, so I'll go this way. Oh, look, I done found the end of the road. Yeah. I found the end of the road, too. This is where you started up here. Let me look at the map. Hey, look, you found it. Oh. All right, then, I'm just going to go in here. <laughs> be careful out there, old fella. I will. All right. Oh, so anyway, I was telling you about Earl and his book on Christmas. Yeah. Reckon it was a magic book. He read it. And then this fella named Saruman or something, I don't remember his name. But he was this glass fella what was in a tube, right? And he called old Earl. Sent him up into the sky summers. He ended up somewhere else. I don't remember where it was called. It looks like a little castle kind of place. But anywho, he gave her a Christmas present. Her opened it up. There's this little hickey matig in there. And he holds it up and he says, it's morphin' time. And then he's a Power Ranger. Oh. To be more specific, the green and white. And... Yeah. So he's the, he's, he's Tommy. No, 
know, he's Dr. Earl Brewster. <laughs> Ain't you been listening to the story, Hobbit? We've been in and out. <laughs> don't be offended, Dr. Earl Brewster. She don't understand your greatness like I do. Anywho, that's pretty happening. That is, it's funky. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I said, happening. We gonna get out of here by level 13. Come on now, Hobbit. I'll be alright with that. <laughs> This music so toad happen. I just, I just wanna dance my cares away some. Reckon we picked a good one this week, Hobbit. Yeah, we did. So these Christmas presents we keep finding everywhere. Is that strictly just in honor? Hey, look! There, I found Dr. Earl Brewster. There he is. See you later, feller. Reckon you did see that feller. He left me some presents around here. So these presents, like I was about to say. Why you reckon them spurs? Just because Earl Brewster? Well, partly. I'd say we could also, uh, probably put some of them to use. Yeah. Or you've got something in there. Candy or something. Or something. Yeah, I reckon it might be. <laughs> oh god, there's a buggy uh -oh. man chasing me. Maximum ever. Leave me alone, you old hang. Hey, look, there's a present. Oh, I can't hear you now. I'm gonna see if I got one of them. We're gonna use that. Um, and I forgot what this looks like. I reckon we ain't got none of them, but we got two of these. So let's use it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, got Mr. Merc Bear. Yeah. Are they good enough? Yep. Hey, look, there's that buggy man again. Leave me alone, fella. Leave me alone, fella. Maximum effort. Your maximum effort's working out pretty good tonight so far. Mm, I found the door. Nice. You found the door? I found the door. I'm gonna keep following this right here and see where it goes, little fella. Okay. There's a prison I can't pick up. What happens if I. Oh, we got one of them. Rose bushes, that's good. You ain't seen rose bushes yet, have you? No. Me. Here's what they do. You got them equipped, and then, like, you hit the A button, or what would be A button on a Sega Genesis, or, and then that comes up. Emonies don't want to walk into them. Oh. Oh, look, it's a dowry. Oh, oh, El General Brewster is going to be rich before it's over with, fellas. We're going to help Earl out here. Get him some fundage. Maybe you even get him an Ecto 2. Hey, look, I found Santa again. Get her. Oh, who are you going to call? Dr. Brewster. Trying to remember that she got PCOs. There it is! There it is! All right, then. Looks like you're already headed that way. Yep. You want me to meet up with you or just go to the door? Just go to the door, I'll be all right. All right, then. That's called a strategy. <laughs> I'm glad we got one. We normally don't. I know. Hey, there's Santa again. That little fella's been awfully active on this stage. Yes, I think it's because we've been talking about the good doctor so much. Mm -hmm. He yeah, appreciates the doctor. Looking man on my butt. I reckon they're kindly on first name basis. I mean, you can't be the father of Christmas and not be pretty close with Sandy. Well, that's true. Yep. Look, well, that ship's already coming together. I reckon we're gonna beat this game, Hobbit. I'm gonna show you. See, I've already found the, went in the door, I think, ahead of you every level. No. What's taking you so long? There was that one level where the doctor that committed you to the nervous hospital was running around. That's right. I, I couldn't help it. One. I couldn't help it. I was afraid. Okay. Poor little feller. There's Cupid. <coughs> Poor little Cupid feller. Our show. Oh, oh, we're all right. We're all right. Are we? Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to go back to ancient Greece and pick up so great. Move over, Earl. Wait. No, the other way. <laughs> Wait, we're picking up who? So great. Reckon that fella or what was he talked about great numerals and shit. Socrates. 
Got to. That's what I said, so great. Oh, we gotta pick up Rufus too. Oh no, a whirlwind. Whirly get yank. Maximum effort. Run away. There's nowhere to run. Yank, yank. Get you, you man. I don't wanna play no more, Hobbit. I'm scared. Run away. Herschel, get away from me, you old moochet. Yank. That was exciting. Don't worry, Hobbit. I'll find the door first. And I'll sit there and wait on you. That sounded very butt cleansing. It was. It took quite a bit of maximum effort. I was scared. I'm probably a prison. I got decoys. You see it? That was crazy. <laughs> now for some bees or something, we'll put some of them out and go after them. That's the funniest thing. Just stroll on down the road. Stay away from me, you old whirlwind. Yeah, I found a door at maximum effort. I'm door coming. Door. I told you I'd be waiting on you. <laughs> oh. You got three legs, you should be able to outrun it easy. Hey look, there's you some pie. You want you some pie? Yeah. I like pie. I do too. I ain't crazy about cherry, I prefer apple. Cherry's my favorite. Now we done told the people something about us. Yeah. That way when they do our Q&A on the Twitter, once we're real big and famous like, we didn't gotta answer what our favorite kind of pie is. We can be like, refer to episode three, season one, Red Eye Retro. That's right, Toe Jam and Earl episode. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should call it Toe Jam and Dr. Earl Brewster. I like that. I do too. Alright, I'm going left. Alright, Dan. I'm going this way, but I'm going to just oh. Careful, fella. If you wake her up, I'm going to keep her. <laughs> I got bees on me. That sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> I don't have them on me anymore. I'm okay. Jump in the water and get them off. cereal and some moldy bread. Eh. Eminies. Eh. Stealing all my presents. That's not very festive of you. No. Dr. Earl Brewster would not be okay with somebody coming and stealing presents. He would not Especially agree. somebody posing as the gopher from Winnie the Pooh. That is not okay. Hey look, little tiny boner. I got more save file. I ain't got no more decoys. I ain't got no more road. Oh. Good thing you didn't bump the door. I guess I didn't oh. have to come back south too. Gee, he's going to get to the door first this time. I am, because you're going to get held up by all them bees and shit. <laughs> Thank you for leaving me in presents out there. Well, up I here. can't. Just don't mind you. Get... I'm sorry. It's okay. That's the noise I make when I'm a mite aggravated. I know. But it's okay because they say I'm well. All right now. Okay. It's okay, little fellers. Okay. I hope I didn't scare the audience. It's a good thing this ain't live. We'd be able to see our numbers dropping as we speak. My close to the door. We ain't got to still go the way you do. Just keep following that road. Here's a present. So talk at us some, my bit. It's funky. What's been going on with your life since we played hooky? <laughs> oh, you know, the usual. Work, 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 work. I hope you ain't been letting them see what you're drinking. Can't be doing no free promotion no. on this show. I'm drinking generic soda pop. Yeah. yeah, no, you can't see the label. We're good. Hey, look, did we level up? We did. I did. You did. Told you I was going to show you up tonight. 
Oh, oh god, no. Oh god, oh, god no. I will oh god, no. Go back to the land. Go back to land. You might want to try to coerce him with your controller. <laughs> Okay, okay, we're, oh, oh, oh god, so, okay. I was only trying to persuade him. <laughs> Fuck this monster now, yeah! Maximum effort! This game is hard, Hobbit. It gets a little harder all the time, doesn't it? Yeah. Did you go north or south from the I'm door? I'm running away north, these bases chasing. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Maximum effort! <laughs> Oh, this is the level that's always such a pain in the butt. Hey, don't you heal me, filler? Heal me, filler. Yeah. I love that. I do too. Now I'm, now I'm well. <laughs> oh god, this is yeah. Water World. Didn't that one filler what used to be a good actor, but then he was in Water World. Now he ain't no good actor no more. You're talking about Kevin Costner. Keanu Reeves. Nah, he was never good. What about that one time when he was in Dracula? I mean, not particularly, no. Bill and Ted? I've never seen, oh god, oh god. I've never seen Bill and Ted. Well, we might even have to play that when there was a classic NES game. Hey, look, I found Sandy again. I think I'm too far out. Do, do, oh, good do, lord. Do, do, do. You just chill right there, I'll bet I'll come take you. Better be looking through your presents and see if you have something useful. Ikara swings have been real good right about now. I forget how to pull up my presents. It's the A button. Look here over the water. Maximum effort. I'm going to be right here with you. You're going to be all right. You're going to be on the same island you're on. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Now you might have to wake yourself up again. Look what you're going to do. Yeah, I did it. To use it, you push your eggs button on there. Okay. You use one and see what it is, and then I'll use one and see what it is. This could get real weird. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm ready for it. Oh, but don't use one of the bonus items. I'm gonna use this green one, okay. I do. Wow, the food shouldn't be. Oh, well. That's good. I got one of them too. Alright, I'm gonna use this ever and... I think I just leveled up. Yeah. That's a good present. Yeah, your turn. I'm, I'm gonna use the cow looking one. Hi, right, Dan, dude, you're getting a day off. Hey, look oh. at that. You got a fire danger. Walk, walk into it when you can. There we go. Hi, Tim. A lot of tiny little islands. It is, this is crazy. It's my turn. Let me see what I got here. I'm use this one. Uh-oh. They're training men and maters. Ow! Oh, I used the super hot top. Let me do that. Hey, it needs... I died. Oh. I use, I use the hot you can tops. jump. You just run towards the edge and you jump to the next island. Use the high tops to jump from island to island. You gotta hold in that button there to do it. A button? Well, it's no, it's X. the X button. It would be A if you was on that other system. Oh, jeez. Now I didn't fell asleep and gotta wake up. What was that? I don't know, I reckon I done hit something wrong. Oh, no, I died. This is crazy, we ain't never getting out of here. <laughs> what can I use? What's in this? Cool. Slingshot. That ain't gonna help me none. I'm gonna get these little fellas in the water. Come on now, somewhere, Sharky. Yeah. Alright, get 
piece on this one? Was there? Oh, dude, this one. I think there might be. Uh, where are we at here? Well, I'll go south. Like, directly south where I'm at now. So if we go to the door, and there's a shit piece, oh, never mind, I found it. Oh god. We would eventually have to come all the way back to this level. Yeah. So it wouldn't tell you, it wouldn't be like, hey, by the way, you're missing a shit piece. No, it wouldn't it would tell you. Let you. Have to find it. We got our windshield. It's coming together, fella. It's starting it to look like a spaceship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now let's get out of here. This crazy ass whirlwind catches me. Makes me regret my decision to come looking for it. Just let you take care of it. All right, then, Herschel, I'm in here and I'm All right. hiding. Okay. You called me Herschel again. I mean, I'll be. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. You could try swimming across the island. <laughs> you had a Catholic approved and blessing, you had Jones left, you wouldn't have to swim, you just swing. Get you a plane. What goes on the island and shit. You gonna die doing that, I'll bet. Hey, I got this. Get her. Check your presents for me. Throw down the room there. Yeah. Tomato rain? No. no sir. Eat you at root bird. There you go. Had to help you a little bit, I'll bet. And Satan fish is oh. going to get Aww. It wasn't enough life to make that swim. No. Now That's you got to swim on over here. Hold it. Good job. I made it. Okay, now. Oh. Hamburger. This stuff, though. I don't need it. You just wanted to see his butt, didn't you? I did, yeah. Secrets out. You got me. Hobbit has a crush on old Toe Jam. I told you not to tell everybody that, though. But, but, you just see it. You said it. But you admitted it. Hobbit. Anyway, green and white, just like Dr. Earl Brewster, just like I was telling you about. Yeah. Reckon he had a Megazord. That's a great big robot. That's not the same kind of robot that they turned him into when he was a police officer. He had a different kind of robot. It's a big and, like, skyscraper size. You go up in there. There's all kinds of prisons laying around over here. Ham and eggs. Hey, feller. Tell me what the prisons is. No, don't do What in this one? You're not gonna have any presents left. <coughs> I'm starting to get sad. Don't oh, get sad. Them little fellers, what steal your presents make me wanna not dance my cares away. Whatever's the opposite of that. I reckon it's sitting and talking some. <laughs> And these ladies what are dancing around in their slutty skirts and shit. They're getting on my nerves. Make me stop and dance every couple seconds. Here, feller. Take care of this bitch. Yeah, dead. <laughs> I didn't pop the hooli dancer. I found the door. Was there a ship piece here? Yes. There is? Yes. I can't find it. No, 
Dr. LG Earl Brewster is on the case, fellas. If he don't fall off in the edge. <laughs> the what? The edge. The edge. The edge. Okay. Hey, quit dancing, fellas. This is a serious matter here. Yep. Here we go, no more dancing. And it's gonna be over here somewhere. <coughs> I'm gonna check the map again while you're getting shut down. <laughs> Yeah. <coughs> I didn't check what I thought was everywhere over there, fella. We'll see if I can't find us a path over here. Yeah, I'm feeling like there's a path somewhere. Yeah. Wish we had some new cars. I found it, fella. Very nice. Yeah. Hey, look what I found, fellas. Nice. I told you I'd find it. That's our forward stabilizing unit. Also known as a leg. Unit. That's what I said, forward stabilizing unit. That means leg. Better run away out. Oh. Oh, goodness. Leave me alone, fellas. I'm gonna check my map. Oh, all right. Run, hot bitch! <laughs> no goodness, there's another. We made it. We did. I reckon we're doing pretty good here. Not too bad. How many ship pieces we done found, hot bitch? Several. Several. Mm -hmm. Fair few, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> How come all of these backgrounds on here when you're in your elevator look like them Anne Frank notebooks like when we was a kid? Do Lisa not Frank? Wake. That's what I said, damn Frank. Do not let these fellers wake up. Hold the X button when you come strutting out of here. I'll get to do here from these fellers, man. Then do it. I'm going to get you, habit. I didn't do it. Didn't have these nerds chase me off. I see what you did. Sneezing all nonchalantly and shit. Oh god, there's more of them. I might have to use my hot dogs next to me. I didn't feel it and stole one set from me. There's me present. Oh god. Oh god. You in trouble, huh, bit. I can't help you now, I'm sorry for that. It's okay, I'll be alright. Are you sure? No. Somebody's trying to call a good doctor. 
I wish that green was. prism. If you got one, that's helpful. Thing. Are these the same fellers want to shoot me at you? No, sir. Maybe. Why do I feel like I need to go back up and then right and then down? Probably we just need to go back up and right and then down. Alright, down. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I right. found some. Good, Andrew. Was there a, one of them things what we're looking for for our skip? No. Alright, Jim. Better just get out of here. After I find the door, I'll let you know. <laughs> okay. If we was doing this live, I'd get the viewers to vote on which one of us was going to find the door first. See, that'd be pretty good. That would be a good one. What would the prize for something like that be? Uh... Oh, God. I'm sorry for that whole bit. Alright, nobody gonna catch me at me. Oh, which way are we going? Oh, Jesus. Ah! What happened to you? I failed. In the words of, uh, I got to look at the map, Hobbit. <laughs> In the words of Gimli, the son of Glowin. He fell. Reckon he said that. He did say that. About that unicorn feller. You know that feller, what was the king? Unicorn? Aragorn? That's what I said, unicorn. Reckon he had the master sword, just like Link. Oh, little fellers. Oh, here's them fellers you woke up for me. Thank you, have it. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I was, uh, putting <laughs> that feller. Yeah. Yeah. Meep, meep. Uh oh, mine didn't run out. I reckon this is back where I feel. <laughs> we on the right path now, a whole bit. <laughs> Down the door. Meep, meep. I reckon if I'd been using super high tops, I'd have found it too. But you were using super high tops, weren't you? Yeah, Max. <laughs> Talk about. Mm -hmm. You're confused. Horrible color. I don't think so. It's dark and I'm scared. Got a clue. Come on now, feller. Don't you get scared in the dark? No. What about a chicken? I'm chicken? petrified of chickens. I don't like them chickens. That devil's fruit, you can't let me back in. How about you get out of here? And I will come out in a minute. Point, it's a little slippery. I'll see how it is. Hey, what was in that pokey dot box? In over here. I might want it. I don't remember. That nerd's probably gonna be a good thing if you just picked up the drill. Hey, make him my bird. I might even be going away. Is there a piece here? No. Alright, then. Oh, God. I'll get you, Max. These poor old fellas are killing me. That's the way you went. I'm going to go away over here. Maximum effort! Jesus, there's 70 of them. <laughs> <coughs> I am so scared right now. Poor little Dr. Earl Brewster L.J. Feller. Alright, Jim, I'll go that way as soon as I get this path. Little feller, you done brought my path. Yeah. They are brutal. They are. Maximum effort. Oh, God, here you come. You're probably bringing more with you. I know how you operate. There's a road down here I found. Here. I'm going this way on it. Even with you. Alright, Jim. Don't eat that. Hey, we found the door and you said there wasn't one of them cheeky fumbles here. Right. Alright, Jim. Hey, there's you. Fudge Cindy in that green box. You need it. Or you do. Yeah. 
Oh lord, I'm getting out of here. Gee, a little power. That was harrowing. That was harrowing. Hi, Dan. I'm sorry for that. No more graffiti. No more graffiti. Got it. Okay. All right, I'll go up this down right now. Yummy. Pancakes. Here's that fella. Hey, fella. You talk at you now. I like it when you do the music. Like I told you, me and Dr. Earl, we used to go around and sing songs and chat with blues travelers. <laughs> Too bad you didn't know us back then, Hobbit. We were pretty fun fellers. We'd have fun sometimes. Yes, sir. We used to have fun all the time. So tell me now, how come... Everything on this game is quick sand. I don't know. I don't reckon there's no just regular sand. No. I reckon I've done traverse the whole eastern continent. Yep. Is this like Lois and Clark? Lois and Clark? Yes, sir. Them fellers who discovered America. Lewis and Clark. That's what I said. And I found the door and the, the, the skate team feller is going to keep me from going in it. Get in there and hide, feller. Yep. Okay. Oh, good lord. Have fun. I'll see you in a little bit. About 45 minutes. Speaking of, how long have we been playing? Oh, yeah. Reckon we're not going to play the whole game more than likely, even though we are doing awesome. We are doing really good. I just don't want us to have an hour and a half long episode. Oh. It's hard to tell how long we've been playing now. Somebody write in and tell us how many minutes it's been. Oh, wait. It's not live. Oh. Well, you little fellers are slacking. How come you ain't writing in and telling us how long it's been? Yeah. You still got a ways to go, I'll bet. <laughs> I'll make it. <laughs> oh, oh, God! God. But there wasn't no shark in there, was there? I don't know. I didn't see it. <laughs> you might use maximum effort to get around him, feller. Reckon I'm to your left. Yeah, I know. He's running interference, so you can't get to me. Yeah, don't go over there, Oh, gee, it's not bad anyway. Poor feller. Oh, come on now. You gonna die for good, Hobbit. And then what's gonna happen? What does that mean if you die and I don't? There's you some hells up there if you want that present. You gotta fix it. Oh, goodness, I done laid you. <laughs> you don't inherit me, feller. <laughs> Too bad I can't give you one. Oh, I can give you one of my presents. I can just drop it. You can pick it up. Oh, hey. I'll see if I got some. I'll give it to you. Okay. Watch this button, do. I don't know. Earl! <laughs> Reckon I didn't push the wrong button. I found where the ship piece is. I'm going to get over there and eat that hamburger. Presents are. Nice. Let's use this in here and see what it is. Howdy! Whoa! I found an unfall. Very bouncy. I 
about to say you got your health back there, Hobbit. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it. You can talk to that bitch until you get rid of him. Oh, God. Nope. <laughs> so if you were an Elgin, uh -huh. other than accidentally crash landing, why would you come to Earth? The food. Would you come to make friends, or would you be like the Elgin's water on um, Independence Day and coming to take everything from us and such? I'd be totally friendly. Check your presence, you might have an unfall. I found the door. I don't have an unfall. I'm sorry about that little feller. I'm sorry about that little feller. You ain't got no doorway either, do you? No. Little feller. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll done found this ship piece. Get out of here. You ain't got much life. I see that. I'm dead. Oh, goodness. Oh. I win. Bye, Toe Jam. <laughs> you invested me this week. I would like to dedicate my victory to Dr. Earl Brewster. Had it not been for his inspiration, I could not have pulled this win off. Now, we got a few questions for you little fellers before we wrap it up this week. Would you all like to see us finish this game? We done made it to level 15 on there. Reckon we did all right. Fairly tolerable, wouldn't you say? Fairly tolerable indeed. Yep. I seen where you used them ones. They was bonus high tops. confused and a mite nervous. I've been a mite nervous playing with you the whole time. Playing with you always makes me a mite nervous. Why? Cause, fella. Um, it just does. All right, bitch. Are we going to have to use the graphic at edit all the end of the episode? No. Again, is this the end of the episode? I, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, Jen. Are we going to need to edit part of this out and then do another ending? No, we're good. All right, Jen. No graphic again. You just get one at the beginning. Just one. All right, Jen. Well, I reckon we need to sign off and say farewell and goodbye. Indeed. Thank you for watching very much. We appreciate it, as always. Absolutely. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That's right. Oh, and one more thing that is very important. In the description on this here video, there's going to be several links. The good Dr. Earl Brewster. Just y'all don't think I'm making this fella up. Everything I said about him was true. This fella here has a very large online footprint on the Facebook. He is the proctor and owner and general Admi overseer administrator, Admi administrator of several groups. He's got one on Christmas I was telling you about. He's got his Ghostbusters. He's even got a classic Nintendo group on there. Mm -hmm. Well, fellas, got him about everything. We're going to put you some links so you can check him out. All right, then, Hobbit. You got anything you want to add? Thanks again for watching. Yes, sir. See, See you next week. Click a bell.
was a long time ago, Hobbit. The episode ain't over yet. It's gonna. It'll be over here in like two seconds. You sure we don't need that graphic? No.